Children in our urban school districts are in crisis. 67% of our minority public school children cannot read at even a basic level. We were seeing children that were in the 10th, 11th, and 12th grade that could not read above a third grade level. 50% of urban students never graduate from high school. Among African-American males who began first grade in public schools, in some cities, the graduation rate is only 10%. Inner city children who try to learn are persecuted by other students who do not want to be shown up. I've seen, you know, the name calling, the fighting, the, uh, you know, attacking of children. Coming home, it was the bully every day. There's more distractions than education. Because they're receiving an education that is not affording them positive options, they have to choose negative ones. In response to this great need, God is doing an amazing and surprising work. He is raising up scores of Christian schools in every neighborhood of Philadelphia. Schools that can be lighthouses of learning and love and places of safety and nurture. But at the very center of it is the gospel, which we, we begin to realize what an opportunity we have in pre-K first level of meeting parents who are very concerned about their kids and sharing the gospel through, uh, through the vehicle of uh, children in the classroom. Christian schools may be our most powerful and effective outreach to inner city children today, with staying power to hold and disciple them through the adolescent years. Medium income is about 12,000 per family, and therefore what happens is that uh, they have to send them to the public school. And yet only about $1,000 per child is needed in financial aid to gain admission to a Christian school. In 1996, the Children's Jubilee Fund was begun to help provide these scholarship funds. The vision that drives the scholarship fund is to open the door to Christian schooling for thousands of inner city children who otherwise will not grow, will not learn, and will not enter our society in a way that can be productive and bring honor and glory to Jesus Christ. A viable, proven way is now available to reach out and restore education for inner city children. The Christian schools are ready and willing to serve. Only the lack of financial aids stand in the way. It will be a freedom to be discipled by schooling that opens the door to a future of fruitful service in this life and for the life to come.